<laughs> American Royal, woo! <laughs> more beer, more beer. Yes. I don't know if you've heard people kind of throw out the family reunion yeah. um, phrase. So yeah, it's a time where everybody can get all together and uh, you know get to see each other again. Barbecue! I didn't know. First shot of the day. Uh, hopefully it's the only shot of the day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey guys, in this video I will be covering the biggest barbecue competition in the world and that is the American Royal in Kansas City. I will be joining my brother's team, East to Meets West Barbecue, as they compete in the open and so I will be out here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Most of the competition takes place on Sunday, but I'll be out here to see what they do to prepare. I'll be eating a lot of barbecue, probably drinking a lot of booze, and I hear Friday night there is a huge party that is pretty lit. I'm very excited and I hope you guys follow along on my adventure. All right, so we made it to the American Royal and we just uh, we just left this tunnel back here and I think it's a pretty popular tunnel. I think it you know gets you hyped up for the event, get some barbecue and some beer in you. Are you excited? Oh, well, I'm excited. What are you most excited about? The atmosphere, we're in the middle of the speedway. It's where NASCAR is and now we're in the center of it all. So, pretty excited. How's it going? Good, good. Yes, two different uh, flavors. Two different flavors. I'm making a few things. I'm making um, the chicken, uh, making baked beans right now, adding some smoked bacon. We have uh, smoked wings over there. And then we're going to get some uh, brisket and Full pork out here pretty soon. It's just whips. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how you know a team means business. They have an espresso machine in their tents. Hong is now saucing up his chicken and I can't wait to try them later. Hi, I'm Megan Day from Burnt Finger Barbecue. I am pitmaster and co-owner and we are here at the American Royal World Series of Barbecue. So the story behind our very first competition at the American Royal we had only done one other contest. We got bit hard by the barbecue bug, and we decided, okay, let's just do it. It was a couple of friends. We had a party, keg stands, the whole nine yards. We took fifth in brisket, the very first American Royal, and we said, this is gonna be a really expensive hobby, and we better start putting some money towards this. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Your very first one. Very first one. Oh my God. So Burnt Finger Barbecue, people think that I'm injured. We are not injured. It is a team of my husband and I and our two children. We call them the Little Fingers. And really, it's because people were eating our food right off the pit. They didn't care. They were burning their fingers to get the first bite. So we are Burnt Finger Barbecue. We've been really, really fortunate that people want to eat our meat and have been following our career over the years. So like, as soon as I am done with award ceremony on Sunday, I'm gonna go get as much sleep as I can and I'm gonna be up at three o'clock in the morning heading to St. Pete, Florida because we sell our meat on the Home Shopping Network. So I'll be live on air selling uh, ribs and pulled pork this time direct to customers right into their freezer so that they can eat Kansas City style barbecue whenever they want. Three in the morning. Yes. <laughs> After a long week. I know, but it's not, you know, you gotta do it. It is because, because well, it, it's also because if I'm if a flight gets delayed, I gotta have as much time as options to try to get to Florida. Our sauces and seasonings are available at like Made in Kansas City and Westlake Hardware and the Kansas City Grilling Company. Any of the traditional barbecue stores around are gonna carry Burnt Finger Barbecue, Smoky Kansas City. We've really developed some great relationships and are fortunate we also have a couple of restaurants that use this as their house sauce. Oh my gosh, well this is my first time. I am, I'm a Kansas City native and I'm ashamed to say it's my first time at the American Royal. So I'm like excited for the smells, for the flavors, and hopefully get to like schmooze my way, in, my way into some like uh, parties and, and get some good barbecue. So on the first day, uh, the team members, they provide 
whole bunch of meat that they cook for all their friends and family to come join and try the food. And also sometimes there's a DJ. Oh, and here's Nikki. Hey! First shot of the day. Behind me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thanks. Uh, sure. One for Tim, tequila, tequila. barbecue, tequila. American Royal. <laughs> so our bellies are full with barbecue and alcohol, yeah. and so we decided we're going to take a little stroll. Uh, out to these other places and see what's out there. Yeah, catch the sunset. Catch the sunset. <laughs> Guys, look who I found. Tyler Hart, Park Barbecue. What's up? Supposed to be working, but not. He's like sneaking off a little bit. <laughs> Had to get a breather. Just five, five, so. Friday the 13th, and it is also a full moon. Full moon, so it's that could either mean like really good luck or like really bad luck, right? I honestly don't know what to think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Hey. good. He's number 32. So today is a sides day, but my brother's team is not participating, so uh, we're just kind of cleaning up, taking some shots, and I think I'm going to take a little nap. Good. Ain't too shabby at all. Oh, you made this? A buddy of mine does. Oh, yeah. So it is the night before the competition, and these guys are already starting to prepare their meat. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you get nervous like in the gym yeah, anymore? No. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> this is our fifth year at the American Royal. My specialty is chicken, 
So last year I was reserve champion in the overall KCBS standings in chicken team of the year. So that's like my thing. I love doing the chicken. <laughs> So the biggest award that we have won is the uh, American Royal Invitational in 2016, the overall grand champion. That was really exciting and yeah. you'll never forget that. So, <laughs> uh, How many uh, competitions have you done? Total? I'd have to look at the stats, but I think we're over 100 because we've averaged, it has to be probably around 100, 130 because we've done around 20 to 30 every year since we started. So. I love competition barbecue because of the people. I know you probably hear that a lot, but you get to meet so many different people, and we've been able to travel um, all over the country and just meet different teams from all over. And it's really opened up a lot of different opportunities for me and got to do different things. Um, I got to compete in the World Food Championships a couple of years ago in their uh, female pitmaster series, so that was a lot of fun. So we have three. Um, we cook pork here on the, the ABS, the American Barbecue System Pit Boss. So we actually got a call in pork yesterday, so it's a great smoker. Um, we also use a gateway drum. We cook our chicken and brisket on that. And then the Weber kettle, we have ribs going there, so yeah. You're happy with it? So the funny thing is, is like, this is terrible advice. Like, I don't, I try it when I get back. <laughs> you should really try it before you turn it in. Oh, yeah. It's just kind of a superstition. David's the one that, like, he knows when it's good or not, so I just kind of wait for his opinion. Yeah. And the chicken is so hot. Like, I don't even know that you get a good sense of if it's good or not. Yeah. For your mouth. Yeah. You get real hold it like a baby. <laughs> I like that superstition. I really do. David's the taster. He's the official. Yay or nay. Roger is in charge of the turkey category, which I think is like an added thing. They're doing it like for fun, but you can be creative, right? Yeah, it's an extra category. Probably got the wrong knife for this, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. The game plan, the game plan is to close your eyes and, uh, and pray. So with the judging of um, KCBS, one of the categories is appearance, and it factors into three scores. We have appearance, we have taste, we have tenderness. So one of the things that we can control easily is the appearance, and um, the higher we get, obviously, the better. Um, the tenderness and taste is based on the judges, but everyone have a universal uh, appeal on appearance and what looks good. So we're trying to make sure we get all the imperfections out um, and do our best with the appearance part. So these guys are trying to figure out if this turkey uh, dish of theirs will work.
come get your 180 pin on the stage for chicken. 913 BBQ. Yes. All right, so that was the end of the competition. Um, we ha just have to wait and see if East meets West uh, made, or what standings they made. But it was cool to see 913 and Burnt Finger place. And it was a fun weekend. I learned a lot, had a lot of fun. Ate a lot of barbecue and drank a lot, so it was a good experience. And if you ever get the chance, I think you should definitely come out. And even if you just want to come out on the Friday night to see some of the teams out here, a lot of fun. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And please subscribe to my page if you want to see more food videos. And keep watching. Thanks.